Well everybody, we haven't really had any good news to report, especially when it comes to Roblox FNF, but more specifically, for Roblox Funky Friday and for Roblox Friday Night Bloxing. I mean, yeah, we've had a lot of drama going on these past couple of days, and you also have to keep in mind, the game's update schedule has been on a decline with nearly two weeks since our last official update. But we do have good news tonight. Week 7 may actually be coming, and finally coming into Funky Friday after months of development. We are going to be explaining what happened and what we could expect to go forward, so of course, make sure you smash that like and subscribe. 7,000 likes, everybody's going to know about the big news and what's going to happen. Happen, and of course let's get right into it so yeah week 7 it's been a long time and I'm sure most of you guys probably still remember about that mod right you know take man going up against the boyfriend and girlfriend in several songs you also even got Pico on the speakers shooting off bad guys too which was really cool I mean we even talked about how the take man minus mod could have had a chance to come too but apparently that theory was incorrect. Now this is no theory. Phantom Arcade, one of the official developers of the official FNF game, actually posted a very big announcement over on Twitter, which is going to lead to Week 7's news. As promised on stream, Week 7 assets. And here we can see several link dumps of these assets as well. They go on to say, Seems like a lot of talented people have already ripped these, but for the fanatics that want the real deal, here you go you freaks. This is actually huge news because it does note a couple things within the community. First, the .fla files or the Adobe Anime files are officially and publicly released which means modders can reuse sprites from the week in their own mods and projects without any issues. Second, a lot of you guys over on Twitter were mentioning and also tagging me into the situation asking whether or not this also means that week 7 could finally be used and also be coming to Roblox FNF games. I mean, could we actually see week 7 finally come to games like Funky Friday and Friday Night Bloxion as well? And and, well, you are actually correct about that one. I mean, the whole reason why Week 7 wasn't able to come to Roblox FNF games for so many months was because the week was not publicly sourced yet. I'm sure you guys remember this all pinned post within the Funky Friday community server. They basically stated that they're not able to add in week 7 until it was publicly and officially released on itch.io which was another website for you know FNF mods and FNF songs. Well if we go to those pinned posts once again we can actually see that the post was removed and it's not there anymore interestingly enough. But Solar Sonia, a friend of mine over on Discord, actually sent me a really interesting screenshot of Java Coden, the owner of the game, saying otherwise. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. In this picture, Java Coden literally said, not adding Friday night hashtags week 7. Now of course, do take this with a grain of salt. I mean there's literally no context to the screenshot so we're not exactly sure what they were talking about week 7 itself or maybe it could be something else really. But then again, if you really do think about it, the hype for week 7 at this point is pretty much dead. I mean the week literally came out almost a year ago at this point. Sure, there might be some fans of it who would be excited to see it come, but at this point, there's way more hype for week 8 that is currently being leaked and worked on, and other FNF mods that have crazy and insane mechanics at the same time too. I mean, it is unfortunate to report, but week 7 is pretty much dead in the water at the moment. But I think what Java Coded meant was this. They could still add in week 7 into the game, but it's not going to be the main featured mod or week for an upcoming Funky Friday update. You know, in most updates, there are a list of mods that come along with the main featured mod or mechanic, 
Well, they could still add in week 7 as extra songs within the update and not make a big deal out of it. Of course, along with week 7, we could see a lot of cool features and also new additions to the game in forms of new animations and emotes as well. I mean, they could literally take quite a bit of stuff from week 7 alone and pretty much add some more stuff into the catalogs. We've definitely talked about this in the past, but they do have a decent animation potential such as Take Man himself, though this animation would be pretty basic and probably wouldn't have anything crazy going on. We also can't forget about the boyfriend holding the girlfriend too. Not sure if this would be a possibility due to Roblox rules, you know, with relationships and stuff like that, but you never know. It could happen. And obviously, who can forget about the Pico emote on top of the speakers, dual wielding their weapons and also shooting at the bad guys too? Like that's gotta be one of the most craziest emotes ever made with an FNF. And you obviously can't forget about the songs too. They are pretty iconic, especially the part where the tank man goes. But yeah, week 7 is officially out and is publicly released, so we could definitely see week 7 come into Roblox FNF games. Now the whole question is exactly when is week 7 going to come into the game? I mean, especially since Funky Friday hasn't been updated for nearly two weeks, they could be changing some plans around or we're not exactly really sure what they're working on currently at the moment too. But of course, we can definitely see week 7 also come for Friday Night Blocks and as as well and probably many other Roblox FNF games too. Me do also have to talk about why week 7 was in some other Roblox FNF games when they really shouldn't have had week 7 added in, especially due to the fact that the week was not publicly out yet. I mean there are some games out there that did have week 7 when they weren't really supposed to and I guess you could say they were stealing the week from FNF. Another really interesting thing that got brought up was in the Discord server where Asterix said that yes, people can use week 7 assets for mods and stuff, but websites like GameBanana still do have rules that say no week 7 related content. I mean, it does appear that GameBanana still has a week 7 embargo still up as they are trashing mods related to it. So it may take some time until word spreads around and they start allowing more week 7 mods onto their websites. But of course, we'd love to see week 7 finally come into Roblox FNF games, but what do you guys think about it? Like are you hyped for week 7 finally coming into the community or are you meh about it? Let us know how you guys feel about it in the comments down below. Of course, make sure you smash the like and subscribe. 7,000 likes, everybody's got to know about the big news. Make sure you use Starcode Attack to feed me. And of course, we'll definitely see you guys on the next one.